He is known for being a Polish pianist, composer, and statesman who advocated for Polish independence. He signed the Treaty of Versailles, which ended World War I, during his time as the nation's prime minister and foreign minister in 1919. His name is Ignacy Jan Paderewski. In the world of music, there are legends whose impact goes far beyond the stage. One such legend is Ignacy Jan Paderewski, a remarkable Polish pianist, composer, and statesman. Paderewski's journey to fame was as extraordinary as his musical talent. Born in 1860, he quickly became a favorite of concert audiences worldwide, captivating them with his virtuosity and passion. But Paderewski's influence extended far beyond his musical prowess. In the midst of World War I, he used his fame and diplomatic connections to advocate for an independent Poland. He embarked on a tour of the United States, capturing the attention of President Woodrow Wilson. Their meeting led to Wilson's support for the creation of an independent Poland in his 14 points at the Paris Peace Conference in 1919. Paderewski's efforts paid off when he represented Poland as its prime minister and foreign minister, signing the historic Treaty of Versailles. Paderewski's legacy is not just one of political achievements, it is also a testament to the power of music in shaping history. His compositions, such as the famous Minuet in G Major, continue to be cherished and performed today. Paderewski's ability to unite his musical talent with his political activism showcased the profound impact that artists can have on society. In the annals of history, Ignacy Jan Paderewski shines as a beacon of inspiration, reminding us of the transformative power of music and the indomitable spirit of those who dare to dream. In 1910, Ignacy Jan Paderewski, the renowned composer, made a significant contribution to his homeland by funding the Grunwald Monument in Krakow. This monument was meant to commemorate the 500th anniversary of the Battle of Grunwald, a symbol of Polish national pride. The unveiling of the monument ignited patriotic fervor among the people, and Paderewski's role went beyond that of a musician. He captivated the crowd with his passionate speeches, effortlessly winning their hearts and minds for the political cause. Paderewski's status as an artist and philanthropist gave him a unique advantage, allowing him to rise above the disputes of various Polish political factions and appeal to the higher ideals of unity, sacrifice, charity, and common goals. As World War I unfolded, Paderewski became an active member of the Polish National Committee in Paris. Recognized by the Triple Entente as the representative of the Polish forces striving to create an independent state, he became the committee's spokesperson. Together with his wife, he also established organizations such as the Polish Relief Fund in London and the White Cross Society in the United States. During this time, Paderewski met the English composer Edward Elgar, who incorporated a theme from Paderewski's fantasy Polonaise into his work Polonia, performed at a Polish Relief Fund concert in London. Paderewski's dedication to the Polish cause was unwavering. He urged fellow Polish immigrants to join the Polish armed forces in France and used his connections to engage with influential figures. Through public speeches and radio addresses, he appealed directly to Americans, urging them to remember the plight of his nation. Paderewski's schedule was demanding, filled with public appearances, fundraisers, and meetings. He temporarily halted his musical touring to focus entirely on diplomatic activities. In January 1917, on the eve of America's entry into the war, Paderewski was approached by Colonel House, President Woodrow Wilson's advisor, to prepare a memorandum on the Polish issue. Two weeks later, Wilson himself addressed Congress, declaring his support for a united, independent, and autonomous Poland. This vision of a new Poland became one of Wilson's famous 14 points, guiding his approach to peace negotiations after the war. In 1919, with the establishment of an independent Poland, Paderewski found himself in a position of great responsibility. Józef Pilsudski, the chief of state, appointed him as the prime minister and minister of foreign affairs of Poland. Paderewski, along with Roman Dmowski, represented Poland at the Paris Peace Conference, where they navigated issues related to territorial claims and minority rights. Paderewski played a crucial role in signing the Treaty of Versailles, which officially recognized Poland's independence following World War I. During his tenure in the government, Paderewski achieved significant milestones, including democratic elections, the ratification of the Treaty of Versailles, legislation protecting ethnic minorities, and the establishment of a public education system. However, his political skills and administrative abilities were criticized, leading to his resignation in December 1919. Despite his shortcomings as a politician, Ignacy Jan Paderewski's contributions to Poland's struggle for independence and his tireless efforts as a diplomat cannot be overstated. His unwavering dedication and ability to rally support from both his fellow countrymen and international allies left a lasting impact on the history of Poland. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.